FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update and currently of all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. So, too, for each of the uh, sectors with inside the S&P 500, the Dow is trading down about six tenths of a percent. That's nearly 200 points. Nine tenths for the S&P, or 35 points. Seven tenths for the NDX 100, 84 points. Nearly 2 percent, one and one and eight tenths percent for the Russell. That's off 33 points. Uh, gold is off 19 dollars and 50 cents. She's trading out at 1776. Silver's down 63 pennies. Light sweet crude is up 13 cents. Natural gas back 52 pennies. That's an 8 percent move to the downside. And the 30-year Treasury printing out at 129.05. That's off 20 ticks. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini the upper left hand side we can see the pullback so far this morning doing nothing more than testing the top of its daily profile price had closed above it for the last three trading sessions assuming that it stays above that level that level is 4035 let's call it 4036 that would suggest that uh, the uh, es mini will complete it's one to one a to b equals cd to the upside 4130 is the price projection and that's especially true with that spot volatility trading below its 50-day exponents moving average. Yes, it is higher than uh, Friday's close. It's still below that 50-day. It hasn't uh, taken out either the highs or lows of uh, Friday out there. So don't read too much into that spot volatility. Next, Russell R. The uh, NQ is actually attempting to form a new daily profile. So the reason it's a bearish in structure. So that says now we will not have confirmation until this, tomorrow morning or really this evening. But the top of that profile, you do know where the sellers are hanging out there between 11,941 and 12,077. If price does close below 11,941, not 11,940, but somewhere below that area, that would suggest to run to the 11,669 level. Now, this new profile that is attempting to form is above the prior profile. It's telling us about a bullish trend. And in ffact, if the NQ can close above 12,118.75, then we'd be looking at an A to B equals CD to the upside with 12,947 being the price target. The U.S. dollar index is attempting to form a buy the D point pattern. Well, if it does that, that will at least take price up to the 105.51 level. And should that occur, that should put pressure on metals. It should pressure on the equity market. So we'll want to keep an eye on that U.S. dollar index. Goldilocks out here. Uh, if it can remain above 1806, it is not above that right now, but remain above 1806 would then signal an A to B equals CD to the upside. Right now, price is back inside its daily profile, that resistance level being 1806. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show if you would, but if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magical one. Thanks so much for joining us, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.